one of the babies just found the swimming pool. How cute. You gonna get in and play in it? It doesn't take them long once they discover it to start playing in it. Nope, you gotta walk around the top of it that they can get in it. But as one of them or two of them, if one or two of them start playing in the water dish, then they all join in, so it's really cute. Got a lot of active babies today. Yeah, we do. Got the real up moving. You can't get out. I don't take any risk with babies because I know how agile you are and what little teeny spaces you can get out of. So I take no chances with my babies. You coming over to see me? Hi. You're so cute. Uh-oh, we're gonna burrow again. That's why I like sphagnum moss mixed with aspen. It gives them something to burrow in real easy. Mm -hmm. See you moving. Where are you gonna pop up at? Yeah, I see you right there. You gonna come back out or are you gonna stay burrowed? Yeah. I know you're not over there anymore, so you must be buried over here somewhere. You gonna come back out? No, enough activities for today, for now. All right. Well, hi there. Aren't you cute? I set up the swimming pool for the babies. I do that with all my baby snakes, give them a big shallow dish of water. They love playing that. I have a few videos up on my last clutch playing them water. Still trying to climb that wall, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. This is quite a unique clutch. Some of them are pink and purple and some of them are orange and yellow and white. Everybody's up moving today. I moved their tank over here by me because they love to watch the computer monitor. So I had the babies over here by me now so I can keep a close eye on them. Waiting for their day old pinkies to come into my snake food order so I can get them going. Usually, most times they'll go for two or three weeks without eating because they're still absorbing the egg sac once they're born, once they pip out of the egg. So. They don't always eat right away. Sometimes it could be up to a month before the leap because they're still thriving on that egg set that they absorbed while they were in the egg. They're beautiful babies. I hadn't shared it on YouTube, but these were just born last week. I know I sound terrible. I got a sinus issue today. Our humidity's like a thousand percent. It's 94 degrees here today. So I got them over by the air conditioner, but I got the top set up so the cold air can't hit them when it comes out of the vent. Hey! Say, so we're active. We want to come out. There's one of the orange ones down at the other end prowling. Waiting for them to find the water dish I just set up for them so they can swim in it, play in it. They all... I cohabitate all my babies because they're better eaters when they cohabitate. And they love hanging out together and playing together in the water tray. I'll put a link to my other videos in this one when I post it so you can go check it out. They have a blast playing in the water. Look the orange one down there. If I didn't have to reach around the air conditioner, I'd get a better video of it. But I got two orange ones in here and I'm really hoping one, if not both of them, are the females. Because their grandmother died on me last year and that really broke my heart so I'd be glad to have another female that's the orange and yellow which is actually candy cane and these guys the father of these is a albino corn snake look at you you're so cute yeah you are so I'm working hard to get out they're so thin skin when they're babies you can see through them
come up Crowley. But I have two of these with the orange and yellow and white in them. And that's what uh, Opal's mother, the mother of this one was named Opal. And her mother's name was Connie. Connie was almost 20 years old when she passed away on me last year. There we go. We're going to go hide now. Of course you are. Why don't you go play in your swimming pool? But uh, the mother, the grandmother is part candy cane, snow corn, and coral. So she had a lot of genetics going on. So these could have come out just about anyway, really. Look at you. You're right up there in that corner. See how you can see through them? Because their skin's so thin when they're born. Look at you. You think you're going to go... What's going to happen is you're going to go all the way up to the top and your body weight's going to bring you back down. I would think you have figured that out by now that that doesn't work very well. <laughs> you're trying, aren't you? Your body weight's going to knock you down. Yeah, see that dark lump in it? That's from the egg sac that they digest and, well, they don't digest, they absorb while they're in the See, body weight won't let them go all the way to the top. They're so cute. I love them. I got nine of them. Opal had some beautiful babies for me this time. Her last clutch lugged out, but this clutch, there were like 13 eggs and nine of them hatched out. So those are real good odds. Tell chubby she is in the middle, she or he, whatever it is, that's because they get a lot of nutrients from that egg sac inside of the egg before they pip and come out of it. It looks like she just ate, and that's just from the egg sac that they digest prior to coming out of the eggs. You can see how chunky the snake is. But yeah, I'm going to try to feed them all next week. You're so cute. You're so cute and so determined to get out of there, aren't you? <laughs> I just want to put this up on, uh, no, sorry, YouTube and share it with everyone. Show them I got nine new baby corn snakes. And they're as cute as can be. You're going to fall again. You're going to fall again. I like to keep them near me because I want them to grow up being used to moving around them and activities going on around them so they're not so shy and so nervous about things going on around them and they love watching my TV and my monitor. See my monitor's right here, a big 43 inch one. And my TV's over there and they love watching it. Wow, that didn't focus right by itself. Shame on you. But yeah, I like my babies being around a lot of activities so they aren't so jumpy and don't feel so vulnerable and threatened by everything that moves around them when they're babies. I think that's the best way to raise them. Start them out from the beginning, getting used to things around them, moving and doing things. See the dark spot? That's egg set. You are beautiful. Yes, you are. Lily's dreaming over here on the floor of my female main cone cat. She's crying in her sleep. That sounds so weird. Look at you. You're so cute. Look at you. You're so pretty. I'm real happy with them. You are adorable. Yeah, you are. These aren't striking crazy like... Uh, Connie's babies were. Her babies came out striking like crazy at everything. But I'll put a link to some of my uh, videos from my babies three years ago playing in their water pool and their swimming pool and hanging out with each other. Look how beautiful you are. It amazes me how big they are when they come out of those little teeny eggs when they hatch out. It just always blows my mind. Look at you. You are so pretty. Yeah, you are. I'm going to name you a rose. All that pink and purple, you remind me of a rose. Look at you. Your 